this is gonna be my review of my 1992 F-150 uh, it's been a good truck it's a ninth generation F-150 it's got an inline 6 uh, 300 motor I got some 31 inch tall, tall tiles on it I'm going, to get, I'm going to do a separate review on those here in a minute uh, I'm going to be building a new front bumper for it here soon uh, here's the rundown of the stuff I've changed on it well no I'll do that in a minute uh, basically I picked it up I didn't get much for it uh, it was blue and I can prove that but it was blue and uh, I use it as you know a truck you know <laughs> Uh, the, the frame on it is perfect there's not a single spot like like there's not uh, you know a spot on it that's bad uh, I turned the tail lights with some VHT tail light tint I have a side exit exhaust uh, it's straight piped as in it doesn't have a muffle or a resonator it does have the two catalytic converters left on it but it doesn't have anything else as the two cats right there comes out straight 90 right in front of the tile and in my mind the side exit exhaust on a truck right in front of the tile i wanted i actually wanted this for the back i got here and angled a little bit different but it still looks pretty good uh it was cheap i had an exhaust shop do it because uh, i don't have a uh, tube bindle and at that point i didn't have a welder yet either uh, I did bed line it. I don't know if I've already said that or not. Uh, the bed's kind of rough. It's got some little spots or some spots in it that's, you know, not the best. But you know, it's from 1992. You know, it, it's not going to be, you know, the best of the best. But uh, let me open up in heel and pop the hood for you. Lift it up. Alrighty. Well, let's go over what I have changed. I've changed the alternator. I've changed the radio fluid, the battery. Uh, I did some wiring. I'll get into that later. But uh, I'm getting ready to change the power steering pump because it leaks like a freight train. I've already changed the coil connector because it's getting soaked in uh, power steering fluid. So I'm gonna change that. I'm getting ready to change the oil in it. Uh, I'm getting ready to change the uh, tie rods, all four of them. Uh, I might change the pitman arm. I don't know, it just depends on if it's bad when I get it all apart. Uh, but really, I haven't had to do much on this. Uh, I'm getting ready to change all, all the brakes on it. Uh, it needs new rotors, new drums. Uh, I painted the back wheels black. Uh, and I, I saved the front two for a video I wanted to do. And uh, I'm going to do a video on how to paint them. But uh, I think I'm going to get some different rims anyway. Uh, but that just depends on how all this goes. Um, I do have a 52, 54 inch nylite light ball. Um, I am gonna do a review on it, uh, probably here in the next couple of days. Um, I still have to finish bed line on it because, you know, painting a truck by yourself is real pain in the ass. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, but some spots I gotta touch up. The power washer did a number on it after the winter. Which is still kind of winter, but it's supposed to be spring. But uh, the salt and everything did a pretty good number on it. You know, most of it's still good, but little pieces like this and on my back where the tiles kick up rocks, uh, that needs touched up, which isn't a big deal. I still have almost a whole gallon of it left. Uh, but, I, but I can get into that later. Uh, well, this is my 1992. F-150 custom.
gotta keep that in there too with the custom it's not the xlt or the xlt lariat i did have a 89 lariat that was pretty nice but sold it for my current foil but uh yeah that'll be the end of this review um if it helped you any cool if it didn't well you know i guess sucks to be you <laughs> but uh I'm going to be making a bunch more videos on this, so stay tuned. And that's it. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. This is Do Everything.